Leicestershire suffered their second batting collapse in a space of four days as they were shot out for just 109 on the opening day of the LV County Championship match against Glamorgan at the Swaylek Stadium in Cardiff, a rain-affected day which was totally dominated by the home side. Put in, the visitors could hardly have made a worse start when play got underway half an hour late. Greg Smith fell to the second ball of the match, losing his off stump to Michael Hogan, who was back from paternity leave, having missed the last couple of matches. Angus Robson soon followed, bang in front to Tom Helm, as Leicestershire started badly, possibly still feeling the effects of being dismissed for 96 by Hampshire last Wednesday. They found themselves on 17 for three here after the first 10 overs when Ned Eckersley played a rising delivery from Middlesex Loney Helm back onto his stumps. A green pitch and showers taking the players on and off didn't really help. It was a good toss to win and when Josh Cobb lobbed to Will Bragg at mid-off off Will Owen's second delivery, Leicestershire were in some mess again on 30 for four. Make that 35 for five before lunch with Ramnaresh Sarwan edging Jim Allenby behind. After a solid start to this summer, Leicestershire were reproducing some old bad habits. The top score of this innings was just 17. One of the men to get that was Niall O'Brien, who then nicked off to Allenby with a score on 62 for six. On the same score, Leicestershire then lost their seventh wicket, Rob Taylor falling at the start of the next over, as he gave Mark Wallace his third catch, this one off Hogan. O'Brien and Taylor had added 28 runs for the sixth wicket and the only other partnership to even start to develop was between Jigger Naik, who hit this six off Owen, and Anthony Ireland. The latter also top scored with 17. He was the eighth man out with a total on 88 as he got in a muddle with this shot to offer Dean Koska a simple catch in the gully. Owen then found some extra bounce. Nathan Buck couldn't get out of the way in time to take Wallace's number of dismissals behind the stumps this season to 29. The next best in championship cricket is John Simpson with 21 for Middlesex. It looked as if Leicestershire were going to fail to get to three figures for the second innings in a row. Last man Charlie Shrek had a go to ensure that that didn't occur. A swing and a miss brought about the end of the innings after only 38 overs. Allenby taking his third wicket to have Leicestershire all out for 109, a second very disappointing effort from them in a row. They were probably thankful that several showers took 40 overs off this day. After tea, Glamorgan started their reply and suddenly batting looked a lot easier. Jack Rudolph is due a score of his own, while his new opening partner, Tom Lansfield, the former Surrey player, was looking to impress on his Glamorgan debut. Whereas Leicestershire were three men down by the end of 11 overs, these two left-handers have posted 43 runs on the board for Glamorgan. The warm moment of joy for the visitors was when Lansfield on 19 got halfway through a pull shot off Taylor and top edge to O'Brien behind. Five overs later, one more shower was finally strong enough to bring an early close to proceedings. Glamorgan ending a dramatic first day on 56 for one from 16.4 overs. This game has already moved on at a pace and when the second day begins, the home side will only need 54 more runs to be into the lead.